the difference between those who have God with them and those who do not is that our results will be different from theirs. Are you going through a difficult time in life or with your family? Are you experiencing a terrible pain in your body that seems to be so long-standing? You've tried going to medical doctors looking for a cure for that sickness. It just seems to be so frustrating and disturbing. God is saying to you, he is turning your pain into blessings. There is about to be a change in your life and your body. It's going to come very swiftly and it'll happen suddenly. Many times when people are going through tough times and pain, they're tempted to always doubt the love of God for their life because it seems the manifestation of that healing is not yet forthcoming. Times of pain are the very seasons where many drag back from faith and deny God. The reason for this is because of a lack of the right perspective about who God is. The idea of faith doesn't mean there will be no adversity. The essence of faith is to test how solid our trust in God will be when we go through pain. It is only when we go through the pain that our faith in God can be tested and exercised. This is why we should always count it all joy when we fall into different troubles. Because any pain that comes to us is not for our own downfall, but for our uprising. It doesn't matter what it is, be it a pain in your body or an emotional pain that's been troubling you as a result of heartbreak. God is rolling up his sleeve. He is getting ready to turn your pain into blessings. It might not look beautiful in the present, but you're not designed to stay in that pain for long. It's just for a while, and you'll come out stronger, settled, and more established. Someone may ask, why am I going through this painful experience in my life? It is so you can have a greater revelation of the love of God. This is the character of God that's been revealed to us by his word. That he can call the things that be not as though they were, and he can call light out of the darkness. There is nothing like an impossible case before our God. There is nothing impossible to him, because he is a God of wonders. There is healing on the side of God. One of the things that you should settle on early in your life is your opinion of God. If you have a bad opinion of God, you'll always think that God's not concerned about what you're going through. And he's just looking at you going through pain, having the power to heal and save you out of it, but doesn't want to because you're not perfect. That is a very bad opinion, and faith is having a good opinion about God. You must always ask yourself, who is God to you? Because if you can't answer that well when you're going through that pain, you'll begin to question God's love for you, and you'll begin to ask, where is my God in the midst of the pain? Some even think that when they're going through pain, God leaves them so they can suffer it alone. All these wrong perspectives that a lot of people have adopted from the wrong knowledge is why they're not enjoying the help of God in their lives. Faith is not denial. There will be times when things are not working, and seasons will go through long-standing pain in our body. But the advantage we have in these perilous times is that when people are anxious and running to and fro, seeking help in the time of trouble, we have the Almighty God standing for us and going through life with us. That is why the Word of God says that even though you go through the valley of shadow of death, God says that He'll be with you so that you'll not suffer the heat and drought in these seasons. God is concerned about every aspect of your life. He wants you to know that he can be right there with you in the seasons of pain. If he watches us so much that he even counts the hairs on our heads ahead and knows them one by one, how much will he not heal your body and give you that miracle that you earnestly desire? God is a good and faithful God. He speaks good things concerning you always and he wants you to know that he's with you, turning every unfathomable situation to become favorable to you. When you believe that God is willing and he's always ready to change your life, you will fix your eyes on God and no man. There will be this awesome wave of joy and happiness that'll rise on your inside. We are serving a great God, 
that delights in loading us with great benefits that we can carry home every time. There is a story in the Bible that gives us a perfect example of God changing and turning pains into blessings. It's the story of Hannah. She was barren for many years, and she kept trusting in God for a child, but it always seemed as if her trust in God could not give her the miracle. People in her society began to mock her and began to tell her that she was barren because of what she'd done in the past. Hannah was mocked and insulted by women that one day she ran into the temple and began to cry. Then she met with Eli, who was the priest at the time. Eli prayed for her and immediately there was a change in her story because that same pain that troubled her was turning into a blessing. After all, she gave birth to her first child who's dedicated to God and he became the greatest prophet that lived at the time. This will also be your testimony, that God will change your pain to be a blessing. That very time that keeps you awake through the night always crying, He will turn it into a blessing. Our God is a miraculous God. When He turns things around, it'll look like the difference between night and day. It'll happen all of a sudden, in a way that you'll be so shocked that God can be this good to you. It doesn't do God anything to change your story. He can make the wilderness like the Garden of Eden. He can make a way where there seems to be no way. He can bring strength to the places of weakness and do the impossible in your life. This is what your God can do, and He's revealed to us in His works in the days of old. When God begins to work wonders in your life, it'll be like what the psalmist says in Psalms 126 verse 1, that it was like a dream. So instead of looking at that pain, why don't you look to God for help? Meditating on the pain and examining the pain won't change anything. This reminds me of the story of the children of Israel when they were bitten by snakes in the wilderness. They didn't have any hospitals to run and get healing. They reached out to Moses, and Moses, being a leader, prayed to God, and God instructed to make a brass serpent statue, and God said, as long as they look to the image, they will be healed. It came to pass as God had said it. They were all healed as they looked to God. When you look at yourself, you'll always find something to be sad about. But when you look to God, you'll always receive supernatural help that turns your pain into a blessing. Very soon, you'll be using these stories of pain to give testimonies of what God can do through a person. God has said in His Word that He will give you the oil of joy for the spirit of mourning and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Now you have something to rejoice and praise God for. God will surprise you in due time and make you a thousand times than you should be. Those who have written you off because of the shame of your pain will call you back and say your story shows that God exists. When you rely on the Word of God, this is the testimony that you will come back with.